We saw the emerging market of a cell phone moving into a smartphone. We were seeing that people were acquiring more functionality out of their phone. So we started to see the smartphone market emerging and rather rapidly. Because if we look at the production lines that are presently assembling these, we find a lot of humans manually assembling. What does that mean to robotics? Well, we have to have an assembly process or an automated process which can deal with this. So we have to address this. We have to address the short life cycle. We have to address the scalability with a product which can be deployed into that application very quickly, can redeploy very quickly. We have to do that with one product, and that product is you. Now, it's not so easy to just replicate a human being. They're an amazing machine. So if you take all of these sensory skills that we have as a human, extremely difficult to replicate it in an automated solution. So if we take the robot and we have a look at some of the functionality we have in it, what we've tried to do here is replicate those sensors. We are providing a complete automated solution between manual assembly and automation. What we needed to develop was an inherently safe design. So this meant the DNA of the product needed to be safe. So what we're providing for the small parts assembly here is a way to bridge the gap. This is achieved by all the sensors, all of the technology built into the product to replicate the same skill as an assembly worker. So if we look at the value chain, what does this product bring to the manufacturer? Well, what it does for one is brings an integrated solution. So it brings a whole lot of different features which are beneficial to the manufacturer. And at the same time, in an inherently safe co-worker. Let's move into some other issues we have in small parts assembly. Configurability, programming, easy use. So we've developed the functionality in this robot to have a lead-through programming ability. That means that you can grab the arm, you can lead it through a number of positions, you can open, you can close grippers, and you can have a program in seconds, not hours. In essence, you're teaching the robot not programming. Clearly we see there's a growing demand for the solution. We provide faster production, better quality production, and increased flexibility. So in essence, what we're trying to do is decouple economic growth from environmental and human impact. This complete solution not only benefits the manufacturer, this benefits the whole value chain, from the manufacturer to the consumer of the product. It is better for the manufacturer in productivity. It is better for the worker. It provides a safer working environment, which in turn provides a better quality of life. And ultimately, for the customer, this gives them a better quality product, a better price point, and less impact on the environment. Yumi is the future for safe automated assembly.